Halloween's Eve show where we're getting ready for Halloween by dressing up as a guy. <laughs> dressing up as a geography teacher. <laughs> All right, kids, today we're going to talk about France. It's over there, people live in it. Get out. Uh, my, uh, my first guest tonight, my, I always like to have this guest. At Halloween. Uh, it's a very beautiful actress, a good friend of the show, the very, very lovely Lauren Graham, everybody. Lauren Graham. You look sensational. Boots. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like I, for Halloween, am dressing as preppy dominatrix. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Preppy dominatrix is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's she wants very... you to do what she tells you, but it's okay if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> She's preppy dominatrix. I like it. Perky sadism. <laughs> By the way, perky sadism is the name I used to dance under. <laughs> these, these are, may I? Yeah. Wear them? <laughs> may you? <laughs> May I touch them? Yeah, yeah, Go. yeah. All right, then. Do can it. I touch your boots too? Yeah. Right. Oh, I didn't even feel that. Do uh, it. Do it. Oh. 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 Well, that's oh. Nice. It's nice. It's oh, it's lovely. It's like a sofa. <laughs> it's like you're wearing a sofa on your legs. It's so great. What could be sexier than that? A so hey, sofas are sexy. A lot of good stuff happens in sofas. <laughs> In them or on them? In them too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Inside sofas. There's all kinds of like springs and cotton stuff. <laughs> In them, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, the uh, now you famously love Halloween more than any other holiday, don't you? I hate Halloween so much. I know. I know. And this year, it's an especial, um, an especial, an what? Especial. <laughs> it's, um, it's especially hideous for me personally, because I have to go to a party and dress up. That's why everybody does in Halloween. Don't Not be such me. a, <laughs> don't be me. such a Mr. Scrooge. Wear your boots. <laughs> wear, I know. wear your boots and nothing else. <laughs> There is a costume. There, you're damn right there's what a costume. If, what if I have to get gas or something? Go to full service. Good point. Uh, <laughs> you'll get full service either way, so. Um, but that's, what are you going to go as then? I don't know. I don't know. What are you talking about? It's, it's hours away. You're going to know. know. I know. It, this reminds me when I didn't have a Halloween costume as a kid. And um, and I and so I made one up. And do you want to know what it was? No. Okay. Uh, of course I do. Yes. It was, um, I, 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 wrapped, I took my dad's brown cable knit sweater. And I rode horses. And I had my brown riding hat. And I, and I tucked myself in the sweater. And I tried to roll across the gym because I was a coconut. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's, that's adorable. Why don't you do that again, then? I did the, the Halloween uh, buttery... Do uh, you ever put butter in your hair? No. Why? It wasn't real butter, it was margarine, you know. It was, Why? Uh, For what? To dress up as Dracula. Gosh, don't you even watch this show? <laughs> You don't even watch this show when you're yes, on I it. Yes, I do watch this show. Really? I don't watch it when I'm on it. Because I who could who could do that? Do you watch your own self? I guess you uh, have to. No. No. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. You can't, right? No, it's it's, it's like awful. listening to your voice on a tape or reading your own writing or looking at your own underpants. Who wants Wait to do that? But you you must have to do all those things. No. When I'm finished <laughs> with a pair of underpants, I get them on a stick and I take them out of the backyard and I burn them. <laughs> so angry at your underpants. They I'm served you so well. At them. I'm not angry at them. It's just time for them to go. Ew! <laughs> After one use? One use. <laughs> I am a spectacularly flatulent man. Wow. Is it just because you're sick right now? Uh, sure. <laughs> no, it's all the time? No, I'm not that farty. I'm a little bit farty. You know, it's farty as, as, you know, like Larry King, who's my god of fartiness. Is he the fartiest person you've ever met? No. <laughs> there is a guy. Yeah. Who I know. 
Yeah. Who can fart when he wants. <laughs> Why is this what we're talking about? Yeah, you started it. Or were your boots? I can't remember. Wait, but um, look, you wrote this book. I did write that book. What? Uh, look, here's a clue. There's a picture of me in the cover, and my name's written there. Is this a quiz? <laughs> no, but I, I wanted to talk about, because I came to your book party. I remember, I saw you there, I was there too. I know, because you wrote it. Yeah. And you told me that I was not in this book. You're not. Craig. <laughs> where did you find yourself in the book? Where does it say? It? Craig, <laughs> here's where I am. And was and is a great talker. She's funny and interested in people. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. Wait, wait, there's two more. <laughs> I, I had no idea I'd written such a lame book. <laughs> How fantastic. No, no, because you have to change the names to protect the innocent. All right. Wait, I just have two more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only two? Thank you. No, by the way, I have like ten more, but I cut oh. it down. Right. Um, the landlord, Tommy, was an Irish fella and a terrific storyteller. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, you really like this, don't you? You really think you've got something going, don't you? Oh, I've had a great idea and I'm really going to go with it. Go on then. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. No, I'm sure it does. I'm glad you're no, having a good time. No, I'm not time. even going to read the last no, one. No, you come like on, no, no. Come it. on, you have to read the okay. last one. <laughs> you want me to get that? <laughs> no, that's All okay. right, then. That's my very expensive bookmarks. Um, Betty has been on TV as long as the medium has existed, slight exaggeration, and she possesses without doubt the finest comedic timing of any human being I've ever seen in movies, TV, or real life. <laughs> that was so nice of you. I'm that very, was so I, well, sweet. Well, it's amazing you managed to spot yourself. I thought I didn't. So many times. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I talk about you a lot, apparently, I over know. the years. I know. <laughs> Fine. Are you back in LA now? Or yes. are you still in New York? Are you so sick? Do you have the fever coming on right now? A little bit. What kind of fever? Because <laughs> those boots are getting me into some kind of... Boots that are like a sofa fever. Yeah. <laughs> boots that are like a sofa. Starring Lauren Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Why is our porn music so terrible? I know, you'd think they go all that trouble of making everything else great. Why would they put some good yeah. music on? Yeah, everything else is so great. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know the last time I saw porn, uh, it no, was by accident. Yeah, well, it was by accident? It was by accident. <laughs> and I, you know, I, after I paid for it and waited for it to come up on the hotel thing, I, I, I went, wow, that's much better lit than my show. <laughs> Did you feel like people looked better and more youthful? They did. They clearly did. And also, the, just the, the general lighting was better. And the, actually, so was the music. No disrespect, but it was... Uh... Do you think that a sign of being coming older is when you're watching a porn movie that you paid for in a hotel room and you're noticing the lighting and the music? <laughs> you know what's even worse? When you, go, when you, you watch it and you go, these people must be freezing. <laughs> that's, that's when you know. That's when you know. For sure. Are you a big fan of pornography? Do you watch a lot of it? You seem to know a lot about it. I hate Halloween. Yes. What about Christmas? I, I Do you like Christmas? I went back to that. I, lo I like Christmas. I'm not, you know... Evil. Evil. <laughs> I'm not really a dominatrix. They hate Christmas. Do, no, do they really? No, I think, no, I think no, they I like think it. They, they not that it. I would know. <laughs> I'm like tearing up because yeah, I think you're giving on? me the swine flu. I'm not giving you the swine flu. You are. I'm like suddenly like. I don't even. I don't think I have it. I'm just. I've got swine How flu. How do you know for sure? I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> if I end up with it, then you know you had it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I. I don't think I have it, but I've got what everybody else has got, which is the I, swine flu fever. Swine flu fever. I've got swine flu fever. I'm panicked about the swine flu. I don't necessarily have it. I'm just scared that I have it. You know what you have to do? You have to rinse your nose out with salt water. Do you do that? All the time. <laughs> really? With the thing. You have to Not do the thing. Not just my nose. Everywhere I can get to. That's so weird because you're still so farty. You'd think you'd clean it up. I'm not really that farty. How long have you been sitting here talking to me? Uh, long enough to smell that you're fine. Oh, but right, exactly. I'm just saying, if you're going to talk about pornography and farting, then, you know, 
Well, it's, it's not really your best foot forward, is it? <laughs> hey, it's knowing your audience. <laughs> Mind. They don't mind. If you don't mind me saying, maybe on the Gilmore Girls, a bit more fartiness. And it would still be on still the air. Still be on the air, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> there is a nice um, lady over there <laughs> who's like farting. Mm -mm, I don't know. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad now. Oh, yeah. I, my eye is always drawn to the person who hates me. <laughs> Sometimes me I marry too. them. Me too. Oh. Yeah. just did a musical on uh, the Broadway, you oh, know? Oh, you're on the Broadway? Yeah. What, you mean in the, in, the, in the New York City? In the New York City, Manhattan. And, and yeah. what, what was the musical? Well, A, you sent me flowers on opening night, which was so, so sweet of you. To the degree that I figured it couldn't possibly have been you who did it, because I've just, like, lived in L.A. too long. So I, when I saw you recently, I said, do you know that you sent me flowers? And you said yes. And, yes. Then, and then who's the idiot? Me. But um, you can always well, what was see I going to say? No. <laughs> Oh, you probably didn't know that you did. I, of course, I sent you flowers, and I remember what I wrote on them. Do you? H happy opening night. You don't even remember. What did you say? Good luck on your opening <laughs> night. Which P.S. is bad luck in the theater. Everybody knows that. That's why I said bad <laughs> luck. I was testing you. Oh. I can't remember what I wrote, but it was something you supportive. Something anyway, nice. you were on Broadway, and I was what on happened? Broadway. But the point is that you can you always look into the audience and see the uh. person who's like, and I mean, you know, people people come to rest <laughs> in yes, the Broadway. Yeah. They're no kidding. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They. Um, and it's very loud in the house, but they do come and just sleep and sleep, and uh, and their so you can always see those off. people and their cell phones go off and all kinds yeah. of stuff. Yeah. They fart. <laughs> And we've you come love, full circle. Oh, that's beautiful. It's poetic. and yeah. <laughs> we've, fin we've, we've finished now. It's the end of the time you have to talk. It is? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's, always, it's, it's always an issue with me how to get to the commercial without looking cheesy. Well, you could just really depress your guest like you just did. 